dog, you need to clean your pit. I'm well aware, bud. Uh, so I have all the tools laid out, and we're gonna get that, we're gonna get some cleaning done. I taught Yins how to build yourself a big flame anywhere, anytime, but never forget there will be a mess to clean up. Now, this isn't even the worst that it's looked. I'm gonna show a, a picture. The heap that was here was inexcusable. And <laughs> my neighbor, God bless her soul, that she came over to, to donate, to pile on some brush. And she said, that's quite a heap you got there. What you'll need is a wheelbarrow, a flat shovel, and some compactor trash bag. You want something really durable. This gets really heavy really quick. This is also a two-man job. You can prop up the bag as such where you can just shovel little bits of ash in at a time. And I will show you. You curl up the bag in the wheelbarrow and then you'll shovel little bits of ash at a time to help stabilize it. Well, it won't be completely stable. And this is where the second man would come in. So you'll also need a friend. So go out there and make a friend. Look at this big rock right here. We all turn back into rock. This is all dead trees. Now the best time to do this would be on a nice day in April, May. Just like break it up, but it is rock. So be careful. Now I am not kidding you. Like you honestly are gonna stop at less than this. This is easily like 200 pounds of just pure concrete. <laughs> Load one, let's wheel her out. Load two and three, ready to wheel out. I think we're gonna get just one more big kind of scoop around this edge but as far as draining it, it's not going to happen successfully the grass surrounding the pit there there is not not very good drainage back here let's just say that this should tie us over till spring <laughs> what we made was a big big mess but we need the, wa the water to settle in. It'll just turn into a big layer of rock. Pro tip, do not overload your trash tote with the bags of stardust. If it is so heavy that the forks on the garbage truck can't pick the damn thing up, which has happened before, speaking from experience, you will receive a note on the lid of your tote basically saying, fuck this, take it to a dumping ground, not our problem. So on the last load, I, I, I overloaded it. And you see how soupy it is. So I'm also scooping up water that's adding a lot of weight to it. Unfortunately, there's no fire action happening. As you saw, I mean, we got a pond back there, and ah, ah, uh, ah, uh, that's fun. That's all, folks. Oh, by the way, this is germ with a J. Isn't that right? Motherfucker, you think I'm a germ, huh? Okay, well, I guess it ain't his name. He just started coming around, and uh, he won't leave me alone.